What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so we made it through a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, yeah, Nacho got uh, flying type shamed. It's not really a flying type Pokemon. That's kind of a shame right there. But anywho, it is time for us to go into the next adventure right here into the Reflection Cave. This place, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool place. As you guys can see, we can't ride our bikes or skate in here. Hmm. They really, really, really made it tough for me. Now, the Reflection Cave is home to a whole bunch of good Pokemon, so... Yeah, keep an eye out for all of those Pokemon. And, well, Nacho is uh, is going to start this off right here because, well, it got shamed. All right, let's go. Let's do this. For Valhalla. I'm playing. So, here we are taking on Backpacker Lane, and he is coming out with a Lunoon. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so here we go. Nacho. All right, time to take your anger out on this Pokemon because, well, yeah, apparently you're not a flying-type Pokemon. Let's go with the Rock Smash. Yeah, buddy, look at that. Rock Smash nearly does the trick right there, so maybe, just maybe, I should have gone with, like, a Swords Dance or something like that. That could have worked. So, oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, the Sand Attack actually worked. Nacho, I swear to God, if you lose, you are being benched. Oh, come on! Okay, so we're going to have to go to plan B, and this Pokemon is single-handedly beating our butt, so here we go, Aerial Ace. And that right there takes care of Linoon. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> okay, so that's one. That's one and done. All right, I see what this is. Anywho, the Reflection Cave, or the Reflecting Cave. It is home to Mime Juniors and Mr. Mimes, so just be aware of that. Uh, hordes, you know, you gotta, you gotta love those hordes with, uh, I think it's not Boldorp, but Rock and Rolla. That's a, I think that's what its name is. Yes. And, well, let's go ahead and grab this little item right here. Now, there are spots here where you're gonna be seeing mirrors of the sort, and it will lead you to, well, brand new places and all that crud. Spots that you can't see. As you guys can see, that yeah, we can see a nest ball right here. And... Well, let's see, what else? Nothing right here, except for a Pokemon. Now, again, you will be able to find some pretty interesting Pokemon. One of them happens to be Solosis. And, uh, well, Nacho, we are not going to do that right now. No, sir. Okay, alrighty. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and put on a Repel. Now, make sure to bring a bunch of Repels, guys, because, uh, yeah, the Pokemon here, they will try and get at you. So, where is my repel? Damn you. Okay, so... We got six repels, but I do remember buying, like, about 19 of these uh, super repels. Let's go ahead and waste them all. Now, if you do see a dark spot, like a dark round spot around these areas, like right there, a Pokemon is about to ambush you, and, uh... Yeah, there's really nothing that you can find right here, guys. Okay, so, let's see. Is there anything else? Not that, because, uh, yes, we will be uh, getting attacked by a Pokemon. And let's go ahead and battle her. Get her attention and all that crud. Alrighty. Let's go. Alright, let's see. Let's see what this is all about. Yes, here we are taking on Battle Girl Hedwig, and she is coming out with a throw. This Pokemon right here. As you guys remember in the last episode, it was a, uh, it's a pretty tough Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for an Aerial Ace attack. And this one takes half its HP. And the vital throw. Ooh, that right there is not super effective. So what we're going to do is we're going to power it up because I believe in the next one we're taking on uh, Sock, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so let's take another vital throw. And let's go. Wing attack. Okay. And throw has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And just like that, Nacho grows to level 27. And everybody else growing. Like the goat, Jordan, Nova, and then uh, Halucha. Halucha's coming out. Holy crud. Okay, so it's Halucha versus Halucha right here. A wrestling match. And we already got a power up right here. So let's go, Aerial Ace Attack. And that is super effective. Holy, holy crud. Okay. All righty. There it is. There you go. And Blade grows to level 28. And, uh, yeah. Getting some more points right there. Okay. So, who is next? Uh, there's another Pokemon trainer right there. We're not going to do anything about that. 
just yet, but there are items that you can find right here. Um, I would suggest using the dowsing machine just in case, guys. And we're grabbing this. Here we found ourselves a moonstone. That right there is a uh, very nifty item. And I see a spot right there. Yeah, no, I'm not going to get attacked by any of these Pokemon just yet. Okay. Another repel. Yes. We're going to be wasting all these regular... Uh, yeah, we're going to be wasting all these regular repels until we get to the, the super repels. And uh, you know what? Let's go with the goat, Jordan. And battle this girl. She sees us from behind. She's like, Ace Trainer. I don't know all about that. I just love Pokemon. Ace Trainers, as many of you guys already know, is uh, what? The cool trainers? Yeah, cool trainers. And those Pokemon trainers are usually the ones with like a mixture of a uh, well, diverse team. They don't just settle on one team. And as you guys can see, Doduo is about to beat the crud out of the goat. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with... Nova. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. Switch it out. We're gonna get a hit. Yeah, we, 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 yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna be t uh, taking a hit right here. So, here we go. Uproar attack. That hits us pretty good. The funny thing about this is, guys, in the last episode, Nova learned Parabolic Charge. This move right here regenerates itself, and bam, it takes half that damage, and bam. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, Nova doing things by itself. And here comes a Helioptile. How in the heck are these Pokemon trainers having Pokemon that I have? I do not know. So let's go with Sharptooth right here. All right, Sharptooth, let's go. Sharptooth, ready. And, well, Helioptile looking uh, all all ancient and all that stuff. So let's go straight for an ancient power. And here comes a, the same move that I just used. Not as powerful, though. Here we go. Ancient power. It's a go. And it is a critical hit. I was kind of hoping for it's like... Uh, what was it called? Uh, oh, yeah. I was kind of hoping for it's a massive uh, increase in all the stats. So here we go. Another ancient power. And there we go. Helioptile defeated. Alrighty. Sharp tooth learning on its own. And here comes a Grand Bull. Now, this guy is a what? Is now a fairy type, so yeah. We're not gonna be able to do anything with that. Let's go with Nacho. Alright, Nacho. Let's go, Nacho. If you guys don't know where I got that name from, watch Nacho Libre. Okay, so here we have Granbull, and this guy is gonna intimidate us. Alrighty. We got the we got the source for that. Okay, so here we go. Swords dance. This will empower this will empower our Nacho. And that headbutt is gonna mess us up, so let's go Rock Smash. And... Oh, wow. Okay, so... <laughs> I didn't think this one through. Oh my god. Jeebus Christ. Okay. Star Fox, let's go. So it is a normal type Pokemon. Or no, not a normal type Pokemon, but a fairy type Pokemon. So that right there has its coverage against the, the fighting type. So here comes a headbutt attack. And let's go with the Psybeam. For the win. And it's still not beating this. Oh, crud. Okay, why are you charming me? Okay, so our, our, our attack has gone dramatically down. So let's go. Psybeam. And there we go. It takes care of Gramble. Alrighty, okay. And the, look at that. Star Fox grows to level 34. And it wants to learn Psy Shock. Okay. Psy Shock right here is a little bit more powerful. The user materializes an odd psychic wave to, to attack the target. This attack does physical damage. Okay, so how come it's a special? Who knows? Okay, let's go ahead and switch it. Okay, so here we go. And, well, everybody else is getting some points. And, of course, Sharptooth grows to level 28. And just like that, we have defeated an Ace Trainer. Okay, alrighty. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon because, good God. Okay, so Nacho, seriously, we got to work on your defense, man. It's like Nacho Libre and all that crud. It's just like, it's no good. <laughs> and that right there. Alrighty. So, let's see. There's an entrance right there, and there's a passage right here. So let's go down. 
And we will be battling her, I think. If your Pokemon are in good health, press onward. If they are not, time to recover. Good God! Yeah, so I, I often do that sometimes where I heal up my Pokemon and then I find somebody that, you know, knows how to heal Pokemon. I'm like, damn. I waste items like... I waste more items than anybody. So we're going to go upstairs. And we're going to go right here. And as you guys can see, this is a uh, this leads to towards the exit, but we need strength to uh, help us out right here. And well, looks like we're gonna go downstairs and right around here, not getting attacked by any Pokemon. You know what? Screw it. Let's go with the goat. All right, talk to this person. I left my darling fiance behind and came over here all by myself. Uh, they probably got into a fight or something. So here we go, taking on Tourist Monami, and she is coming out with a neat arena. This right here, if I'm not mistaken, it could be easy for the goat, and it is because we do have bulldoze. So here we go, bulldoze, super effective, and it is a critical hit, lowers this Pokemon's speed. But here comes a uh, Fury Swipes attack. Oh my God, the Fury Swipes. Oh my god, okay, so that was three. Let's go ahead and use a bulldoze. And just like that. No more need arena. Okay. And Nacho grows a level 28 and is trying to learn flying press. What the heck is this? It is a flying type or no, it is a fighting type move. So this move here, the user dives down onto the target from the sky. This move is a fighting and flying type simultaneous. Oh wow, okay. Let's go ahead and switch it out. We need it. It is a flying and fighting type attack simultaneously. That is awesome. Okay. I kind of do want to use it now against a normal type Pokemon or something like that. Okay. And here we have Tierno. Hey, Sensei! If you use the move Flash, not as many wild Pokemon will turn up. Huh. Hmm, I wonder if you can... Wait, wait, wait. I kind of depend on Flash. I'm still not very good at battling, so I keep on running into trouble. I sure I wish that I was as good as you. So right here, Flash could be a, a, a repelling item or something. A repelling kind of move. All right, so grabbing this, found ourselves an escape rope. That will help us out later if we need it. And there is an individual right here. Let's see. Okay, I kind of want to try it. Let's see, who can learn Flash? As many of you guys would see, Flash is not an HM anymore. And we could teach it to Nova. So let's see, what, what kind of move do we need to take away from Nova? Um, let's see, it's not much of a physical attacker. So let's go ahead and take away Quick Attack for just right now. Okay, so there we go. And just like that, we got Flash. Okay, so let's see what Flash can do in here. Let's see. All right, Nova. All right. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so it just does that. Never mind. But he did say not a lot of Pokemon attack you, so I I wouldn't know mainly because of uh what was it called uh mainly because I do have a repel on. Okay, so let's go ahead and take on a black belt, and his name is Igor. And here he comes out with a throw. This Pokemon's ready to go. Okay. Alrighty, so we got our move. Let's go ahead and see what Flying Press does. It is both a fighting and flying type move. And, wow, okay, so it is. Look at that. Okay, so the retaliate attack can hit us, but here we go. Nacho Libre doing its thing. Nacho! And there you go. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. Okay. And Jordan grows to level 29. Nova to level 27. And, uh, yeah. We <laughs> oh, man. That move is going to come in handy. Alrighty. Okay. So uh, we're kicking some butt, taking some names. Alrighty. And this individual is going to look at us. Since ancient times, mirrors have always possessed some kind of mystical power. I will take advantage of that power and use it to defeat you. How? How do mirrors have mythical powers? Okay, so 
Let's go. We're taking on Franz. And he's coming out with a Chimeco. All right, Chimeco. Or Chimeco. Yeah, many of you guys have been getting on my case about, like, it's pronounced this way. My bad, guys. Never really watched the anime. Well, never watched the anime past uh, the Johto region. <laughs> so, yeah, my bad. Here we go. Aerial Ace does its trick. Chimeco defeated. And, well, let's see. Who is next? Coming out with a gullet, so I'm not going to take that risk. It is a ghost in uh yeah, it is a ghost and ground type Pokemon. So let's go ahead and just uh Yeah, let's go ahead and use Blade. <laughs> Alright, Blade. Time to do your thing. And let's see. Can go with the Shadow Sneak. See if that actually works against it. And that is super effective and uh, yes. Say goodbye to Gullet. Alrighty. And Franz has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon yet again because, well, yeah. You know, we're responsible trainers. Not with the berries. Grab that. There we go. And, alright, let's move on. Let's see, there might be another item right here. I should, I, I should go towards the edges because, you know, some of these Pokemon like to just ambush you and all that crud. And, well, let's see. Go right here. And you know what? Star Fox needs some love. It's two levels away from growing. And bam. Oh no! Just where has my darling gone off to? Sob. Oh. I thought they got into a fight. No, he, he's pretty much lost. So here we go. Tourist Haruto. Taking out his neat arena. How cute. Yeah, how cute. How how cute is it that they have both Nito Nitos? So let's go with the sh uh, Psy Shock and see how this does. That hurts it. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. And Blade it grows to level 29 and it wants to learn Slash Attack. Okay. You know what? I'm going to take Aerial Ace away because I do have the TM and I could switch it anytime I want. And. Well, there we go. Level 29, Nacho. And Haruto has been defeated. Yeah, I've already... Yeah, I've already I've already met your, your girl. And I'm not going to get ambushed by this guy. Let's see. There might be an item right here somewhere. No, not really. But there is one up there. And we're going to go ahead and grab it. Here it is. We found ourselves a Hyper Potion. And the next thing is that we're going to be double battling right here. This is a good chance to use... Nova and maybe Sharp Tooth. We'll just see. We'll just see what happens right here. Okay. What do you think, honey? Should we share some of our happiness with this young trainer? Do we really look ha so happy? Hmm. She's not happy. She is not happy. So here we go, honeymooners. You and Ami want to attack us, and they're going to be coming out with a Vespa Queen and Combi. I may have chosen correctly. All right, so there's some pressure being exerted. Let's go with a Parabolic ch Charge and Ancient Power onto Vespa Queen because that is the threat. And that right there hits everybody. Okay, seriously? Trying to lower our evasiveness and all that crud? Oh my god, so yeah, our attack has harshly fallen. And there we go, Vespa Queen has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, buddy. And, well, let's see. What is next? Nova, let's go straight for another charge. And let's go for a bite attack. Thankfully, Sharp Tooth's uh, ability makes bite just a little bit stronger. So, that would be all. That would be awesome right there. And there we go. Nova grows to level 28. And, well, Sharp 2's getting some points. And Honeymooners are not happy right now. They are not happy. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing right here. There are items. Kinda, I think. Man, how many Pokemon trainers are here? Jeebus. Okay, gonna grab this. Found ourselves in iron. That right there will help us with, you know, our defense. 
And, well, we're going to be having another battle right here. So let's go ahead and uh, switch out to... You know what? Star Fox, again, is about to evolve. Let's do it. My only desire is to brighten my Pokemon's day by defeating you in battle. Hmm. Okay, so here we are. Ace Trainer Emil, thinking he's pretty awesome. And he is coming out with a freaking Abzal. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so... This could be a problem. Let's go with a flame charge attack. And that nearly defeats this Pokemon right here. So comes another taunt attack. And this one, let's see. Does taunt miss? Yeah, no, it doesn't do anything like that. Taunt takes away any kind of like special moves like reflect, leer, any of those moves that don't attack. And bam. There it is. Star Fox grows a level 35. And, well, he's about to come out with Pinsir. Let's go ahead and torture this Pinsir right here. Look at that. Pinsir looking all mean and everything. Let's go with a Fire Spin. Oh, yes. And, thankfully, the Fire v Fiery Vortex is going to help us right here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Alrighty, time to finish it off. Flame Wheel for the win. And there we go. Flame Wheel for the win. That helps Jordan out to level 30. And it wants to learn Seed Bomb. Alright. Let's go ahead and take away Leech uh, or Razor Leaf. And there you go. Seed Bomb has been learned. And Emil has been defeated. I kind of feel like there's a digivolution happening right here. Not really. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see. If you go down here... Yeah, this this will go... Oh, wow. We're going to have to go back down there. Crap. Okay. Going to go back down there. There is an item that we missed. Pretty dumb of us to do that. So let's go ahead and grab this. Here we found ourselves a black belt. And... Let's see... Now it is time. Oh, okay, our repel has worn off, but it says less Pokemon will attack us. So there we go. And yeah, so far so good. No Pokemon has been attacking us. And this one will lead us straight back to where we were. And there is just one more spot that we need to take take a good look at, right over here. And that is the exit. And, of course, we're going to get battled by this guy, so let's go right ahead. Here it is. Taking on Hiker Dunstan. Dunstan. That's a pretty good name right there. And here we go. Taking on Dunstan with a Star Fox. And, uh, yeah, this Pokemon is not going to do any good. So let's go with the Goat Jordan. And let's hit it with, uh, with a Seed Bomb here and there. The Goat. And we have voted that. So let's go straight for a Sheed Bomb. That is a one-hit KO. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that's more points for all of us. And Hiker Dunstan coming out with a Dweeble. So let's see. We're going to go. Let's go with Blade. Kind of feel like, kind of feel like somebody's going to evolve right here. Somebody needs to evolve. Come on, man. All right, let's go. And we're going to sharpen everything. But here comes the feint attack. That is super effective. How is this Pokemon faster than us? Alright. Increasing our stats. Let's go, Shadow Snake. And bam. That takes a little bit more than it usual. And yeah, that bug bite does not work, especially on a steel type Pokemon. So let's go ahead, finish this game off. And there you go. Look at that. Alrighty, so Diggersby. Diggersby is gonna be coming out. So let's go with Nacho. Hopefully this wasn't <laughs> Hopefully this like hopefully Diggersby doesn't mess us up right here. So here it is, Nacho Libre. Taking on Diggersby. This Pokemon looks yoked. It is a ground type Pokemon, but we're gonna be going with the flying press. And BAM! Super effective. Oh yeah, I'm loving Flyer uh, <laughs> 
I'm loving that move. And Nacho grows to level 30. And bam, Blade grows to level 30 as well. So the level 30 club has just gained two more members. That's pretty cool. All right, so after defeating this guy, you can uh, push this around. And it will be an automatic shortcut to the, the beginning and the end right here. So let's go ahead and press this. And bam, that, that actually works out. And if we go right here, there may be more than one example of the reveal glass first round found in Unova. That's what uh, the latest research seems to suggest. It's a real breakthrough. Oh, sorry. Don't you know? A reveal glass is a mirror that has the ability to transform Landorus, Thunderous, and Tornadus back to their original forms. I did not know that. Now, there is a, there is a room here that we missed. Yeah, there is a room that we missed. I kind of need to find it. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead and find that room. Not right here, but there is a, a secret room that you need to actually look for. And you need the mirrors right here to, well, to actually locate it. And, well, look at that. We're getting attacked by a Pokemon. Okay. Alrighty, so, yeah, we're not going to be... We're not going to be messing with this Pokemon right here. Let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, move around. It should be around here somewhere. I may I may have accidentally missed it. Let's see. Not right here. But over here. Okay, so... It's not right here, huh? Maybe down here. Yeah, it's right around here, guys. I completely forgot about it. So if you go into this area... This will take you to this place where there are some items that you can find. And there we go. Found ourselves an earth plate. And there is just another spot right here. Now, if you take a, cl a closer look. Not right now. <laughs> yep. Getting attacked by Pokemon is always awesome. Okay. Let's get this off. So, like I was saying, if you take a closer look right here, guys, you'll see that there's a cave entrance right at the middle of this portion right here. So, if you come in here, it will take you into a secret spot, and you'll be able to find yourself the TM-74 Gyro Ball. This right here is based off your speed. The slower the Pokemon, the faster or the harder it will hit. And if you take a look right here, I don't know the purpose of this whole spot right here, guys. I really don't. If you guys can comment down below what this spot is for, that'd be great. I have a feeling it's for, like, some legendary Pokemon and all that crud. So, we're going back here. And, yeah, we're going to get the heck out of here because we need to get to the next uh, area. Next gym badge. That kind of stuff. And uh, we're going to go right here. And there we go. Fresh air, finally. So here it is, guys. We are in Shalur City. This is the place where we're going to be taking a look about Mega Evolution. So we're going to go into the... Yeah, we're going to go into the Pokemon Center and just get healed up and all that stuff. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for staying patient as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.